Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a mum of three from the UK, and this is day two of 2021's Not Back To School Week. Woo! So as promised, we are doing a curriculum flip through today. Um, I'm gonna look at Charles and Bessie's things first, um, and, and we're just gonna talk about their main subjects that I'm just doing with the two of them. So we, as I've said before, we follow a Finnish way of schooling. So when we start formal education, which means that they didn't start to learn to read until they were six and we haven't done anything formal with them until they turned seven. So with that, um, if Charles was in a Finnish school, he would be going into um, grade three or year three and um, Bessie would be going into grade one. Now I've tailored this to their abilities as well. Charles is going up to year three equivalent work. We use the British National Curriculum, not the Finnish, but we do start um, with the same level. So they start learning to read at around six as long as they're ready and then they progress on to more formal schooling at seven, which is how the Finnish would work, but we use the British National Curriculum. So. With that, Charles is starting year three level work in now-ish, as soon as he's kind of finished, as soon as he's wrapped up the level two, um, or year two, we say level two because I don't want him to like compare it to people he knows who go to school. Um, so he's doing level three or year three, he'll be going into that as soon as he's wrapped up level two or year two. And Bessie, who would be technically starting year one, um, work is actually starting year two maths and then we're just really focusing on her English, her literacy uh, to get that reading and writing um, mastered because she is still really struggling with it as I said yesterday. So you will have seen that I showed you all of these books before and these were the ones that Charles has been using. Now Bessie will be using them. Um, we've got the same textbooks. We didn't. You don't. Use the, you can use the textbooks again, but of course we have gone and bought her, gone and bought her her own practice books. Um, and I will give you a little bit of a flick through. That's Charles's book of a couple of them, so you can have a look and see if they might be suitable for your child. So we're just going to flick through the Power Maths book A, two A. Uh, so this is Year Two, as it says, and. Um, Power Maths is based on the national curriculum and then you need a book A, book B and book C because they follow on one after the other. I know someone asked me a question saying, which book do I need? And I was like, all three. <laughs> you don't, if you're, if you are confident in your own mathematical ability, you will not need the textbook. Um, I have found that I don't need the textbook for year two at all. Um, I flicked through year three and I don't think I'll need the textbook on year three either. But by the time we get to year four, I might need some refreshers um, or at least help with working out things like bigger division and fractions and things like that because I was very rusty on it when I was at school so I may need my husband to explain to like help me explain it to explain it to the children so we've got these lovely they're not colorful they're all black and white um but it says you know draw a picture of yourself at the front write your name and your class and here we've got the contents so um I'll just hold it up there and you can have a flick through if you want to pause it right now so you can have a read that would be a good idea. Okay. Oh, wait for the lighting to come back. There you go. So we talk, we, the unit headings in book A, you've got numbers to 100, addition and subtraction, addition and subtraction again, money, multiplication and division. It has, um, you have several lessons per unit and then at the end you have an end of unit check. It's a very small assessment to see if they've, um, if they've got they've got the hang of it. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so tired today. And then unit two, same kind of layout, exactly the same again. But you've got multiplication and division, statistics, length and what length and height, properties of shapes, fractions. And then two C. You, it's a much thinner book, you're kind of wrapping it up by the time you get to 2C. You've got position and direction, problem solving and efficient methods, time and weight, volume and temperature. So these don't cost very much at all. I have linked to them in the description. Um, it's a really, really comprehensive uh, mathematical curriculum and um, it is geared at school children as well. So if you really want a comprehensive maths curriculum for me, um, I felt overwhelmed with all the things, like the basics that I felt they needed to learn. And um, 
because I'm not mathematically inclined at all. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna do the national curriculum for maths so I know that there's nothing missing. So if they do ever want to go to school, want to take GCSEs or anything like that, then they're gonna have a firm, solid foundation in mathematics. Um, I'm not suggesting that this is the right way for you, obviously, um, but that's what definitely I felt comfortable with and definitely um, I feel the children are, are responding to that and enjoying it. So um, I won't show you uh, Bessie's English, which of course you've seen before in previous videos, and that is the toe by toe book. Um, she's actually using it right now, so I don't want to go and take it away from her. Um, and also, didn't want to—I couldn't just not film. So um, she's using a toe by toe book. It's in the description, and I have flicked through it before. I will link the video where I show it to you as well um, in the description. And um, yeah, she's doing really, really well with it. We're on. Um, you know we're getting more and more less sounds in her in those words that she's reading um each time she does it and she's really really doing well um she's complaining a little bit when we do it but she once she realizes that everything's okay and she's getting all the answers right um she kind of boosts her confidence and then she's happy with it so charles again i think i've shown you these before but we are using the apples and pears um book a and um you can get these online and these are it's a it's mainly writing it's um it's writing and spelling really so um his reading age is of a child much older than him he's he's nine almost ten and his reading age is someone who's about 11 or 12 so but his writing age is someone who's a, of, of someone who's a much younger age um and i really wanted to help him catch up so um you've seen me use this in our home ed with me video where i sat with him and did this um so it introduces a new sound you can see up here it introduces a new sound and then there's various activities to kind of compound that knowledge um a bit of reading and then you go on all the way through with tracing and writing and it is a really really good it's not the cheapest writing curriculum in the world if you want to buy the whole stuff the whole set of all of the books it's over 100 pounds but if you buy them individually you can spread that cost out and that's something that i'm definitely keen on doing so um you can see his handwriting at the top here if he was writing that independently um, without a line he copied that and um, if he'd have been writing it independently it would have been all over the place but he's done um, a really good job with that um, we are struggling a little bit with having his um his writing being kind of diagonal and different shapes and changes and stuff so i'll just show you the last um what he did and of course we've had the summer off so he's done it a bit patchy throughout the summer when he's felt like it rather than me saying let's do it every day so here you've got he's tracing the letter z or the letter z um and obviously we're doing phonics in this book so it's z um and in this one he's saying telling me what the sounds are he's tracing and i will say um sh r z and then he has to find it and then trace it and then he's got the same here, got to say the words here. Then he's got to um, circle the words jar, and then he's got some tracing to do there. And moving over the next page, you've got more words to read, and then um, and then doing some more writing. So he's um, he's on level nine now in here, and it goes all the way up to level thirty, getting obviously more difficult. And then he will move on to book book one. But you've done that's book one. Then he'll move on to book two of three and book three of three. Um, and um, you know he should be writing lots and lots of words by the time he gets to book three. So we're just going to keep on working at that on, through that with him um, and see how he gets on. He's going. It's going well so far, and his handwriting is getting better. Um, even on its own and his his just interest in writing that confidence of actually I want to try and write it myself um, is getting better and better as well so um, the next thing that I'm going to be looking at with just Charles and Bessie is um, Scienceburg International Science Books um, we have we've always done science as unit studies and the older they get the more i realize they are incredibly interested in science they're incredibly interested in the world around them and to be honest they have they come from at least on my husband's side of the family a family full of chemists and physicists um 
and there's a doctor in there somewhere and their great grandparents and um, mathematicians and all of that sort of thing and Bessie's very interested in maths, Charles is not um, but they are both very interested in science uh, as you've seen before we've done the MEL science boxes and I think we're going to try and do them again because um, they uh, they really really do like them and so we have decided, decided to actually go workbooks and experiments like actually really sorting this out because um, and making sure that everyone is uh, everyone's getting things done that they want done so let's just have a pick out of something should we do plants let's look at plants so you've got topic books and you've got workbooks and um, I've only got one set of the workbooks at the moment because they didn't have any others in stock so the topic books are obviously like your textbook and obviously we have not used these yet just separating them out so I can make sure I'm looking at the right ones so they these are I believe year one yeah year one national UK national curriculum aligned year one and you've got plants changing seasons oh sorry getting all confused plants changing seasons types of animals parts of animals comparing materials identifying materials okay and they are by Pearson now Pearson do English maths and science things and they are again as I said um, UK curriculum aligned and they do um, lots of things for schools so all very brightly coloured these topic books and they're not thick they're not big they're very thin but they they have lots of different bits and um, oh my wrist went funny then so it starts off with um, what do you already know about plants Draw a plant, and this is writing in your exercise book. What do you already know about plants? Draw a plant and then label the plants you know, parts you know. It's nice and bright and colourful. And then you've got, there's other questions on each one. And then it gives you science skills. So that is a experiment to do. Um, and there should be, if I remember rightly, there's a couple of science skills in each one. Sorry, I broke my wrist last year and my wrist is still, the twinge is still quite uncomfortable. So, um, yeah, that hurts. So then you've got, per book, you've got two experiments. Um, and, yeah, I'm quite liking it so far, having a look at it. So then the workbook that accompanies it, you can um, have it like this, and then you can write in it, um, or you can photocopy it, I guess. I think I'm going to buy a second second lot. And there is a, for each each page in the topic book there is a matching page in here um, and you can do as little or as much as you like so for example here with the plants all around page it says in the space draw a plant you see near to your home or school write the names of any plant parts that you know so it says if you know the name of this plant write it down here where do you see this plant growing write about what you already know about plants so if you have an exercise book or anything like that you could do this what do you already know about plants draw a plant and label the parts you know and that brings you on to to um to this as well so oh sorry ow um i also rode today i had a riding lesson so my wrist is feeling a little sore um so yeah moving on to the next one i'll show you one more that's not about plants and that is comparing materials and again whoopsie, matching topic book and workbook and again nice and brightly colourful with pictures and you've got some questions there asking you to record in a scientific way and then you're going through various different topics and you come up to a science skills and the science skills are the type of experiments um, and, um, and yeah they're all looking really good none of them are huge prep um, which I'm pleased about because I don't always want to do loads of prep um, and yeah so we're going to be doing through those if you would be interested in seeing us do those experiments and um, kind of doing the books along with us I'm quite happy to shove those videos in um, at some point in our schedule and, um, and we could always do them together which is nice and fun so that's the science books that we will be using uh, the other thing that we're also going to be doing and um, continue doing is meet the artists uh, a 20 week hands-on art and art history curriculum um, this is just to try and encourage them to be aware of other people's artwork so 
that's what we're going to do. We're going to follow it very loosely, not um, in a real big way at all. Um, and I think that is it for the big two, the things that we're doing together. Um, we will talk about unit studies um, in another video because I'll be doing those for all three of them. And, um, and yeah, so that's it. That's it for Charles and Bessie. Stay tuned and this time tomorrow for Albert. Uh, we're going to talk all about Albert and what I'm getting up to with him and um, yeah, you can see what we're going to be working on with him for his essentially preschool slash year R. We're going to be gently introducing him to doing a few things, although I'm not going to be forcing him to do anything. Um, you know, not forcing him to do anything anyway, but I'm not going to be doing anything formal with him until he is um, seven. But he is approaching five in January and I would like to get him started with phonics um, in the hope that he learns to read a little bit faster than the other two did because um, we didn't start doing phonics with the other two reliably until they were um, six or seven and I would really like to get that phonic knowledge in his head now um, and then see how he gets on. Um, and then you know let him and then encourage him to blend and things and start reading when he's ready but I'd like to him to have that knowledge in his head as soon as possible he's also very interested in doing things um, along with his siblings so uh, I will show you tomorrow all the things I have planned for him he has already looked at them and he's quite excited to give them a try I will see you tomorrow don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our home education content and I will see you tomorrow for another home education video thanks so much bye